What is up guys? If you know me, you know I like to go after those crazy looking ambitious games. So in the future on this channel, I'm going to be talking about, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be talking about a plethora of different games, you know, like games like uh, that are open world and that I just find really, really cool. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new game. Well, not necessarily new, but a game that I found out about a while back and just realized what it was. It's called Dual Universe. So Dual Universe is a new game coming out. Uh, they said that they want to try to release the alpha in, you know, the first half of 2017. I don't know how accurate that is still now, but one month ago, uh, IGN posted a uh, kind of a interview with the developer of the game, or one of the developers of the game, and he basically said that he thought that they would get it done, the alpha, in the first half of 2017. So if you guys do not know what Dual Universe is, it is a single shard sandbox MMO like No Man's Sky where you can build stuff just like you can in Minecraft but in a sci-fi space universe. You can also build your ships and the structure of your ships almost like almost block by block. Well exactly block by block. And here I'll show you some of that footage right now. So also there's gonna be things such as economy, politics, trade, warfare, warfare, warfare. So that's you know that this game is gonna be an MMO. Obviously, this is going to be pretty cool game because you know of the MMO aspect to it, and also the the uh, building aspect to it as well. And you know, just imagine a massive base war between two factions on a planet, and that would be really cool. You know, the two factions are fighting each other to try to you know take control of a certain planet, and also that gives uh, other players you know the ability to say build um build up certain like bases and just all around the planet and try to take different territorial controls on it so just like in identity you can actually make a guild or you know a, a gang a modern day gang in this game and it will be kind of set in a sci-fi universe that you can you know dual universe that you can um actually fight other players or you can help other players and I'm sure that they'll add like a market and stuff like that to where you can you know build uh, different things and sell them to other players so if you build a really massive uh, bomb ship then you can probably sell it to other players and I don't know actually if you can build state spa uh, space stations but they said that there will be space stations and stuff like that so I obviously I'm pretty sure you can go into space because it's a space game but um they have also, you know, said that they're going to be taking a page out of the No Man's Sky handbook. They are going to be using procedural generation to, you know, make planets so that players can explore uh, seamlessly ending a, a never-ending planet base. And obviously you can build on each and every one of these planets. And I'm assuming there will be different hazardous terrain and hazardous animals on each of these different planets. And you'll have to, you know, fight to survive uh, each of these different um, obstacles. On the grounds of how many players you know will actually be in the dual universe, uh, universe, uh, it says that it'll be a MMO game, so massively multiplayer. And using their robotics and AI experience, they say that they have developed their own technology to allow hundreds of thousands, even millions of players, to interact with the same game world. This technology is also aimed at making large-scale gatherings for battles or you know urban activities of players in this same area at the same time as possible. So obviously this means that there could be very large-scale wars in this game. And this kind of reminds me of Planet Side 2. Uh, if they could make the war system kind of like that where you have to uh, go go to certain control points and to you know get a uh, hex hex territory like uh, areas that would make a really a really fun uh, thing that you could do in the game and it would kill a lot of time obviously and as for the NPCs they say that there will be animal NPCs to hunt breed or fight and also some other creatures and space pirates attacking players in the later versions of the game they say that there will not be any of these in the alpha and that there will be trading NPCs acting on the in-game markets to bootstrap the economy and even to give quests and stuff like that 
and they say that they want to favor more of these social interactions with other players. And I've seen a lot of games like starting to do this recently, especially with the uh, identity and Altus Life uh, stuff like that, and the games that are you know more more on the player big scale social interaction side. And I'm just gonna say that I really love those games because it doesn't get old. Because you're always meeting other players and just seeing what their avatar looks like. And even games that are really, really weird like Second Life where you can see this really tall skinny man. I've never actually played that game. Uh, but there's just, there's just, it's endless. Like there's so much funny stuff that is on that game. If you guys have watched, um, I forgot what his name is, but he made this thing called, this series called The Grand Wizard. And this dude just walked around in a wizard costume and trapped people in cages on their private servers. And I thought that was absolutely hilarious. So what if we get one of these grand wizards in the dual universe universe and they're just trapping people in different places? And that just brings me to another point. So I think it would also be awesome to, you know, kidnap other star players. I don't know, star citizen, star citizens, citizens like that are playing the game. And you could kidnap them for ransom, maybe like that, maybe, because I think that I heard that you can definitely do that in Identity. So all in all, this game looks really cool, and I will definitely be delving into more specific topics in the future. Especially if you guys love this video and show some support on it, which brings me to the subject, go ahead and drop a like. But anyway, I have a ton of different information on this game that is actually on their website if you want to go check that out by yourself. If not, I will be making videos in this on this game in the future and kind of try to spice up my channel for the you know the, more of the sci-fi people because I love sci-fi stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a comment, tell me why you liked it, and go ahead and leave a like. Also, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll be posting video gameplays of Identity and all these different new games that I'm talking about as well as information on them and updates and stuff like that. Also new upcoming games is kind of my strong suit. I love researching and doing stuff like that for, the, uh, for this channel and showing you guys all the stuff that I find. All the stuff that I got was directly from their website and uh, you know a video that I watched on it and also some stuff that I seen before today. Show some support for Chaboy and subscribe so I can get to 300, guys. I love all you guys. Let's shoot for a 1,000, 100,000 likes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.